Mabuhay pageant fans! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G. So how are you all doing? So it's time for me to review my top picks for the evening gown photo challenge of Miss Universe Philippines. It was uploaded while I was on coverage last Sunday night. So imagine I got so distracted by my eventual number one's overall pick here at the moment. My basis for coming out with my top picks is of course how these girls look amazing in these gowns. Plus their styling and the way they pose. They have to give me drama and life talaga if they want to make it here in my list. So here they are. And now we go to my 12th spot and I'm giving it to Raven Doctor from Palawan. This girl has been very consistent with her A-game here in Miss Universe Philippines. It just feels that not a lot of people are very appreciative of her efforts. And I'm just really stunned at how Raven has been giving me Venezuela Latina vibes with all her photo shoots lately. And these photos truly really belie her age. And I can't believe that she's only 18 years old. Pero she's looking like this. So wow. With this photo that she has for her evening photo challenge, she really looked like a Latina Barbie. So credit goes to her designer, Nel Claveria, for pulling off an amazing piece for her. Now she just looks so sexy and sultry here. I reckon this kind of bun or straight hair really looks good on her as it balances this strong photo. So keep this look for your uh, other activities, Raven. And even though, siguro yun nga lang, even though I would have love for her to go soft on her looks as she is only, as she is only young, kung sa bagay, napapanindigan naman niya. And now we go to my 11th spot and I'm giving it to... Jennifer Hammond from the Filipino community of Southern California. I'm just so happy to be including her in this list. Janet has to be here just because of how she is so good here and I can't overlook or ignore her this time around. Janet comes out in this very beautiful red gown that that has stunning a stunning bust line but it was her it was the Ab exposing cut out at the stomach that is turning heads for me. The way she posed here is so sexy and dramatic and even the lighting of this photo truly highlighted her face and curves here. And even the hair, the sleek back hair, truly complemented the whole overall look. So wow, I can't nitpick about anything she really slayed here. And now we go to my 10th spot and I'm giving it to... Surprise, 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 Kimberly Street from Australia or from the Filipino community of Australia. I just love this girl's authenticity. I have been wowed by this girl's press presentation performance two weeks ago and I am even admiring her now for her naturality and simplicity. This evening gown photo for me is standing out just because of how it showcases Kimberly's simplicity here and just lets her authenticity and assets do the talking for one this blue metallic cut out gown just complements her beautiful curves and sexiness with emphasis on her long legs but what's amazing again here is her simplicity and authenticity shining through her hair napansin nyo, is disheveled and it makes me feel like you know she's very unafraid to show it and very consistent in showing us that she is not afraid to show her real bare authentic self so could it be the Australian in her? I don't know, but all I know is she just looks so statuesque in her simplicity. But if I were to nitpick though, I would have loved for her to go light on her collar lip. It just kinda ages her. But other than that, Kimberly is looking sensational here. And now we go to my ninth spot and I'm giving it to Christy Lean McGarry from the Gig City. Old Hollywood glamour. This is how I felt when Christy McGarry came out in this gorgeous Mark Boomgarner black corseted ball gown. The way she posed here is very, very dramatic. And her hairstyling here is just perfect. And those sculpted arms are just to die for. It's sweepingly dramatic. And I imagine her wearing this gown in red carpet events. However, much as I am in love with her look here, I could not help but feel that it, it was a gown that I have seen before. So there's no more excitement as the wow factor 
is already gone. So it is in this light that I would like Christy to churn out more pasawag concepts and photos to justify her frontrunner status in the competition. There is only one title at stake and everyone is out for blood this year. And so she really needs to bring her A-game no matter how simple these online challenges are. Christy has to have this mindset that every activity is an opportunity for her to kill it. And she can't afford to be inconsistent. Now one day she's number one in my list and then the next day she's about she's at the bottom of my list. So gets new. And now we go to my eighth spot and I'm giving it to Stacy Gabriel from Kaintarisal. Oh yes, Stacy! This is how you maintain your momentum in the competition right now. After wowing me again during the swimsuit online photo challenge, she turns up the notch by coming out with this beautiful sequin gown with the pleats. Again, the way she shot her photo here just gives us the illusion that she is tall resembling that of a logo of a Miss Universe. Napansin nyo? Nakulan na lang, itaas na lang din niya yung mukha at kamay niya to, at yung kamay niya to effectively achieve that concept. So from head to toe, she was perfect here. And I believe this was the same look and makeup styling that she had for her photos before. But I really do not mind as she had me in this beautiful gown. Yun nga lang, I noticed this gown was a bit loose on the waistline area. Napansin nyo? So, Stacy's sexy figure here wasn't really showcased that much. But overall, I just love the hair, the gown. She really looked like the Miss Universe logo here. So, she still captured my imagination here. And now we go to my 7th spot and I'm giving it to Tara Valencia from Baguio City. I may have never included this lady in my swimsuit pics before but I am including her now for this round this time around. Wow, it feels like her team really pulled out all stops to really come out with this concept for her in this gown a la Met Gala feels. Yes, that's how dramatic her look was for her in this round. She wore a black velvet dress with gold overlays with a funky hairstyle to match that bold look that she's achieving and she really looked like a mannequin here there was just drama in its entirety the face the hand poses even contributed to the power of this photo so i'm really impressed she really pulled it off considering that i feel yellow and black is usually worn by older women but for someone her age it didn't feel like this color combination overwhelmed her youthfulness Instead, it showcased her versatility in this round. So, tulali talaga ang lolo nyo. And now we go to my sixth spot and I'm giving it to Chelsea Manalo from Bulacan. Bow down to the Wakanda Queen. Yup, this is how I felt when Chelsea came out in this gown with a, with a turquoise cape. There was just too much drama in this photo. Grabe, ang ganda. From her facial pose here to her big hair and even the, the color of her cape, it really contributed to one powerful photo. Now, this face can really haunt us for eternity. Na kahit ano pang isuot ni Chelsea, she can really draw our attention with the beauty of her face. She's really that consistent. And now we go to my top 5 and number 5 on my list here is Alexandra May Rosales from Laguna. Oh wow! I'm finally happy to vlog about this lady in my list. I am just so stunned by Alexandra's Louis Pangilinan gown here as she just looks so effortless and commanding. This silver metallic gown just looks so, just looks so good on her and provided a perfect contrast to an evening outdoor setup. And it turns out pala that this gown photo concept is inspired by the Mount Makiling Reserve Park located in her hometown. And it worked on for favor. And as the photo turned out, to, turned out to be so dramatic or cinematic in this case. And I just love how Alexandra simply posed here with, which really made us look at her face and gown right away. No, walang theatrics, walang gimmick-gimmick, tumayo lang sa gitna ng kagubatan at umaura. So pasok na pasok talaga sa banga. And now we go to my fourth spot and I'm giving it to Anita Rose Gomez from Sambales. Soft, ethereal, and I can't believe I'm using these adjectives to describe Anita Rose Gomez here for her evening gown look. It's very clear now to me that Anita wants to be seen in a different light. Someone who is more refined and elegant na talagang gusto niyang ipakita. And this Aaron Montoya tool gown perfectly just did that. Now, it's really a strategy that is paying off because Anita is giving us something new for a change in terms of styling. 
She has been looking classy and elegant in all her public appearances so far and this gown makes her very consistent with it. She just looks freaking expensive here. An adjective I don't usually give out to someone like Anita. So suddenly you are no longer drawn to her waistline or legs but more on her face now. And even though she was showing, napansin nyo, a bit of her leg here, I was still swept off by by the whole overall look of her in this photo. I was really swept off by the touch of elegance put in here. This girl has really a formidable styling team. So, well done again. And now we go to my top three. And number three on my list here is Alexi Brooks from Iloilo City. Ah, finally, a photo of Alexi that really swept off my feet. Woo! Diba? Woo! She is finally in a different gown this time around. And I'm just in awe of this gown and concept that Alexi brought out here for her evening gown photo. It's a yellow sexy gown with a sweetheart neckline and high slit and wow she just looks so ferocious in it the color alone is already complementing her beautiful skin tone and the technicality or production employed for this photo felt like it gave you the illusion that she was being shot in the middle of a desert or somewhere out of this, uh, out of this planet so it was really fiery it really stood out now if there is only something i may hate I may have to nitpick. It's that I wish she could have done a variety. She could still have done a variety of poses or facial poses here, as I feel her pose here was just very singular or just the same. But otherwise, she looks so insane on these photos. And now we go to my runner-up of this list, and I'm giving it to Victoria Velasquez Vincent from Bacoor Cavite. I can't really get, get enough of this lady in this round. I mean, look at this photo. It's just so dramatic. Like, the moment her photo came out, I was really stunned. Maybe because VVV wore something different for a gown. So just when everyone went all out in their fabulous gowns, she went for a dress, but with a twist. It's sculptural and designed to add more drama to an already powerful photo here. And wow. When you also try to read the caption of her evening gown, all the more that you'll be impressed to as how she was likened here to a flower in full bloom. Hence, it was a well thought out concept. This is Axel K. Hot Couture at its finest. So, pasabog talaga itong si VVV. So, it is in this light that I would like to ask her to be consistent in churning out pasabog photos like this. Not just for online challenges, but for her entire Miss Universe Philippines journey. Kasi, this collaboration with Origin Management is really a match made in heaven. So, I would really love for her to take advantage of it. Kasi, because in terms of communication skills, she has nothing more to prove. So it's in her styling area where we always feel that she's always a hit or a miss. So if I were her right now, I would really come out with more pasabog, pasabog ideas similar to how Amanda Obdam did all her photo shoots prior to competing in Miss Universe. Natatandaan niyo yon, yung puro pasabog photos left and right, whether in a studio or in a yacht, until we were all salivating for more. And so sana VVV and her origin management team could consider this idea. Kasi aminin naman talaga natin, ang dami-daming competition ni VVV this year for the crown. So sana magpasabog siya na magpasabog na magpasabog ng ganito until May. Kasi mukhang wala na yata tayo magiging problema sa kanya in terms of styling. Mukhang napag-aralan na talaga ng team niya. So do you agree with me? And finally, we go to my winner of this list. And I'm giving it to... Atisa Manala from Quezon Province. Hands down, my best photo for this round. I mean, the moment I saw this photo while I was on coverage last Sunday night, I was really speechless. Like, my jaw dropped. Atisa just came out slaying in this blue feathered bustier gown made by Rap Soligam. But what I feel elevated her gown here is how she was styled here. And I can't help but be stunned by it. I can't help but notice it. This 1920s inspired hairstyle totally complemented her look overall here. And I notice Atisa has been sporting updo ponytail looks for the past two weeks and I'm impressed because she is showing something different this time around. And it feels like her team truly studied different hairstyles to complement her face shape. 
and nakakatuwang pagmasdan yung iba't ibang mga looks niya. And I also like the fact that it's my first time to see Atisa in blue. So all the more, it feels just so refreshing in one's eyes. Everything in this photo is so new to me and I really, really believe that Atisa slayed it in this round. So there you go, guys. What do you think about my top picks for this round? Does it match yours? Well, feel free to share your opinion down below in the comment section so I can see where you guys are coming from. Alright, guys. Until my next video. Bye!